Good lord, it has been far too long. Ow! Ow! Yes, yes, let's crack a beer to that. Oh my god. What is going on? Gentlemen, we actually did it. Are we are we here? Are we actually playing this game? I again? think we're actually here. Yes. I think we're oh, doing none of Yes, you, yes, we are. None of you are kind of alternate have a universe is this or a heart attack right now, right? Like we're actually doing no, no this. No one died. It's the thing. No one died. No one died. Oh, no one died. No one died. Yet. Oh my god. Guys, we're here. We're doing this. We're actually doing Don't blame me, Maji Chan. It's not my fault. Last week was Black Knight's fault. <laughs> uh, it like was fault. two weeks. Like it was uh not last week, the week before was kind of my fault. No wait, no, I don't remember. No. One week no, three weeks ago was my fault. Last week was Lord Otter, Sables, and all of us being tired's fault. And then and then yeah. the, the next week was Black second. Knight, and then it's Guys, we gotta just play. Okay. We should just play. We should just delay. We should stop delaying the inevitable. Uh uh Alduan is semi functional. It's there. Uh, we have a recap to of... get by. <clears throat> But yeah, while while we are doing the recap, while while I am doing the recap, I would ask of you to check, do a final check of your personal inventories, like what you have in the backpacks, what you have on your belt. Uh, check magazines and the power packs that are currently loaded um, in your weapons, and that's it. Um, I, I I I can I can stop the. Um, I want to be honest. I have no how. I have no idea how much money I have, or even if I have money, and I don't know where to look for that. I haven't had to look for money in this game since the first session. Ah. Oh. It was under equipment. It was right there. Money. Yeah. Yeah. I. I have. I don't have it filled out. So you know what? I got to like go through all my notes and find out how much money I have. That's something. I know I have money. Um, we're broke money. money. Yeah, I, I, I got I have. No money. I'm broke. I got a small amount. Only uh, I've got some money. I think yeah. Elgin has uh, about like 400 credits or something. Where does it even say that? In your in your equipment. I'm in the equipment. Scroll down. Scroll down to the bottom. Money. 450. Well, magic items. Other yeah. items. This is all there. right. I got 415. Yeah. That's what I've got. Well, I gave you. Um, a, I don't have an extra roll, Maji Chan. I don't have that written down, so I don't actually have an extra roll. I think all of us used our extra right. rolls last stream. Oh my god, guys, we're doing it. We're here. We're finally. Oh, I have fifty. And we're doing and we're doing a longer session, by the way. We are. Yes, we are. Yep. We're doing a three-hour session today. Oh my god, I'm excited. For Both this. are just ready and prime. Since, uh, since we did bring up the. <laughs> weapon like uh, like ammo the amount is it all right if i just make a bulk purchase of ammo and then just reload my mag my sniper rifle mags um what what is your um <clears throat> what what kind of a sniper is this uh is, is it is it like a railgun um because if if it's a laser or a railgun it's it, it still uses Power packs and power packs have limited charges, and you can't yes. reload them. If I remember, this one is so projectile and range. 
Uh, yeah, if we're uh, not, if we haven't yeah, left yet, I would like to make a few changes to my bike, but I, of course, you you first, Sable. Oh, good yeah, lord. Uh, oh, we should have done this earlier just this what was labeled the sniper rifle, and I know for a fact I've been using actual gun bullet rounds, so I'm pretty sure it's a... Oh. Oh. Yeah, let me... Really the... quickly, let me get this out of the way. Guys, That's... if you are in the <clears> chat, <throat> you guys can help the adventurers in the stream by a $1 super chat. That's right, a $1 super chat. Just tell us who it goes to. If it goes to the hamster, the Asgardian, the bunny, or the the the, the Zenthry, the Irish space captain... Uh, a $1 super chat can give us a re-roll, uh, or, uh, uh, or it can help in other ways as long as Black Knight, our game master, deems fit. So never forget that you guys can actually affect our adventure. And as we go through the stories, we have various different polls uh, that we will have you guys uh, uh, vote on. And you guys get to vote on our adventures, which is part of the reason why we're probably not going to get the super awesome, super crazy awesome you know, shredder rifle because you guys voted for me. To uh, not get that, we'll so. see. <laughs> we'll see. It uh, is definitely a railgun sniper rifle. Which... Yeah, it's a real gun. Yeah, it's yeah, it so still it's... fires. It still fires projectiles, but um, I, I don't know if I explained like how how they operate. I think I did in the beginning. That's so uh, you both the laser weapons and and particle beam guns and um uh rail guns they they they're charged with power packs and you you have like a block of metal inside the the rail gun and the gun shaves a, a very small bullet for you and um for for the purpose of game balance um and ease of playing uh you're not like you you don't have to say that oh I'm, I'm replacing the block of metal inside the guns like because this is the the easiest thing to do you just pick a, a piece of slag slag metal and just replace it and the weapon does everything for you so um yeah that's that's um a, a, like a, a little so bit then of uh, it's, then it's just charging my the power packs basically, right? Power packs are they are not rechargeable. They are one like once it's it's loaded like once you make a new power pack and you charge it uh, and you use the charges, you can't like it's it doesn't work like, like this. I think I I. Uh, I explained it in the very beginning about the packs that they are one way if it has 20 20 charges inside inside like look charged and you use them and you're left with one you can't refill the power pack it's it's not a like a normal battery different type of technology yeah, the power packs can't oh, charge off, Tim Allen. shield, right? God fucking... Yes. You guys just lost oh, the game. No. Tim Allen just said you guys lost the game. Really? Ah. Ugh. Uh-oh. Fuck off! I hate the game. Really? We lost, no, the, game. lost the game. <sighs> it's the game. Don't don't mess don't up games. don't <clears throat> drippy don't don't if they don't know about it just let them continue there. on in their naivety we will do that thing yep so um they on the colony right now they don't have like a huge endless supply of power packs because you've been fighting and they've been fighting and they've been shooting but if you like them to give you probably one spare power pack, uh, they can they can do that. They can certainly do that. That's all I want is 
They don't have Jarjet ammunition. Uh, they don't what have. That's not what I was asking. They don't have ammunition asking. for needler I was uh, going to weapons. I was going or to grenades. ask that while we are on our way, is our craft is the crafting station in Alduan? Did we get that up and running? Um, I have no idea. I can't remember. Oh, I cannot I mean, remember either. Check your notes. Check your notes. It's your shuttle. It's not mine. No, I don't think that, I mean, that I was. Created I don't it. think that was anything that we went over, though. Is the problem? Yeah, we didn't go over that. We. I don't. I don't uh, remember you. I don't think we did doing that. Yeah. No. We we went over the engine and then the hull. Those were the two major things we Reactor did. Reactor engines hold. Well, yeah, but we went back to Jerry to work on all do one. Yeah, yeah. To, yes. To make it better. We did so many pairs. Yeah, you, we did you some fix repairs, the hull but I don't remember. We fixed the hull, and I believe we fixed the engines and stuff, but I don't think we fixed the crafting station. Basically, I would. I'm trying to see if I can <clears> craft <throat> some additional uh, items to make my my gyro jet actually hit something and not jam. It's this super awesome Terran weapon that's supposed to never jam, but in my hands, it jams all the time. Uh, that's I just, I just because of that's that's because of your uh, Zentary supremacism. That's <laughs> wow! I love it. Wow! It always comes down to my race. I, I love that. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Black Knight. I appreciate that. In space, that's racist. We have racismus. Yeah, we have racismus. No, it's not racist. <laughs> but basically i if i remember correctly you uh decided to go um um as soon as you fixed uh the shuttle because if you delay i mean you could stay one more day in the village but your you 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 suspect that the 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 Tazaran commandos would not wait for you. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Aldoan seems to be <clears throat> in running condition. I'm doing a diagnostics check. It seems like we can take Aldoan to where we need to go. And to be perfectly honest, I'd like to see what this Mirin bunker has in it and i'd like to find that beige team and get rid of them they tried to murder these wonderful people who have taken care of us since we've been here and i think that it's time that we go and uh well pay a visit to those that tried to murder our friends here what do you think i think the, well, it's uh, a good thing i'm in a generous mood hmm. i really want to blow up this bunk here I don't know. I'm just itching for explosions. I haven't seen one in a while. Like, yeah. need one. I'm joking. Like, I think Roro wait. has the, uh, I'm gonna find the right idea in mind. They just they just flew a spaceship into our nuke a few days ago. You didn't see that? Oh, I saw that, but that was a few days ago. It was very disrespectful. It was. It was. I I loved that nuke. I just you know I wish we could have kept it for a little longer. But gentlemen, make sure that you prepare. Don't worry, we'll make a new one. We will. Make sure you prepare properly. I'll do one. Are your systems good enough to take us to the Mirren bunker? Or is there anything else that we need to address before we leave? Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll do one. when you ask him, is says, um, Oh, Captain, sure, I can buy you there. Um, we have a bit of a problem um, when it comes to me and uh, these old Miran dark technologies, which are based on You remember you fought one that raid <clears throat> says uh, I don't think that uh, 
but even if if you should find their hangar bay, case like all secret bases, has a place where they could land and maintain some small. Hmm. As I, I not hmm. fare well inside the base. I can drop you next to it. That makes sense. Talk. Um. Talk. Use, use old ones. Scanners. Let's locate the best spot that all the one can set right. us down near the Mirren bunker. I have access Hold to on. the scanners, right? You're not going to yep. be racist for my little paws, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on takes like a, a, a couple of seconds. <laughs> you, you, you realize that he already has all of your language databases mm. and he's like this mainframe his mainframe is, is super fast because you repaired it you know that it's like mm. supremely fast he doesn't he, he probably needs like a maybe two pico seconds to to finish the search in his in his uh memory bags uh he 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 looks at you he smiles and says hmm um looks around around you um he plays like a little pantomime and um says uh i don't think there are any the or uh their friends hiding around your um person Unless, unless you, <coughs> uh, unless you stuff them in your pockets, unless you're hiding them in your pockets, and he chuckles. <coughs> All right then. So computer use. Okay. So. Oh fuck. Here. Oh. Uh oh. Um. And you... then he proceeds to unironically just slam his face at. Aldon corrects you. Uh, he shows you the area around the base, um, the map, because you already have the map. It's, it's, you uploaded it. Um, and he says, You see the scanners? The scanners, they don't show anything there because the base, is, base itself is, is built with uh, high quality stealth composites um wait 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 so, wait. so unless unless you um unless can you, you can you let do me something... can you let me do uh, another little little quick role play just real quick with this failure hmm. okay all right cracks his fingers <clears throat> Starts like typing away, and then he, he stops. All right. Now don't get mad at me, but I think I got my finger stuck. I don't know how it happened. How are you? How? How? How did this keep happening? Do I need to get the oil? No, get the you're oil, not using sir. oil. All right. Oh, no, no, stop! What? How? I'll, I'll clean it, Peter. Talk. I. We even I, have an talk, oil. I need. How did you get your finger stuck in the okay? In so the keyboard in well, the keyboard doesn't really need to get the oil. That is it's that um, is paramount to my people's history. I I really you do know that I know. have like I, I, I have claws. I have claws, so right now they're kind of like stuck what, underneath. Why are one you of using the... claws to type? I'm I'm a rabbit. They're not retractable. I, okay, we're like we're not like cats. They don't go up into our fingers. They just kind of sit there like your regular nails. So right now I didn't trim them properly. So 
I got, it's, you know, I'm stuck. I, or, or you ever can, considered filing them down? Hold on, can we... I, I forgot we've been very busy very recently, can, okay? Hold on. That is fair. Can, yes. Can we get him a... a, a hold on, can we get him... A, instead of a mechanical keyboard, can we get him a hollow keyboard? Ah, uh, Aldon just uh, uh, does like he he he's chuckling. Uh, <laughs> he he does like um, um, a hand gesture, and you see that the um, you've been actually you've been using like the backup uh, controls, uh, the mechanical controls, the mechanical buttons. And the the regular stuff is actually like like the whole keyboards and the whole buttons. So it it since it's like an exploratory shuttle, it has a like a mechanical backup in case they they don't have enough energy or like the um, shuttle has to go into energy saving mode. And it it has been in energy saving mode for like god knows how many centuries uh remember when you found it like in, in what what um state you found it so you've been like you you've been casually using the mechanical keyboards and buttons so far you just like you you, you didn't even it, it it they are so so well crafted uh, so well made that uh, you just assume that 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 was the the usual uh, command prompts I, for the shuttle. Tuck, I, why, Tuck, why do you get stuck all the time? I don't understand. I, I, I. It's kind of apparently it's my thing. That. That's the worst thing that I've ever heard anybody have. I, well, I stuck. Stuck the rabbit. Mm. <laughs> and well, I'll call you bald. Bald the hamster. I'm not bald. Oh, I saw it's a little singed. <laughs> yes, but you were bald multiple times because of the explosions. It grows back. It grows back. <laughs> and I get unstuck, but that does not stop you from calling me stuck. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'll do one. Are you, can you? I'll do one. Can you help our friend get his get unstuck from the mechanical <laughs> keyboard? And please get him a hollow keyboard. I'm sorry, I'll do one. I I apologize. The uh, the the generations have not been kind. Uh, Don't worry, Alder One. If you can't do it, I've always got the oil on standby. We're not using oil on Alder One. I fucking. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay. what? What? Hey, that, that reminds me. That reminds me of, shape of, of my uh, people. They want to no. use oil on it. Legendary shape of my people. The, the stories have been told, and children have have wanted to see the ship for generations and you want to pour oil on I can I say it's a good solution as yes. I I I don't start with me <clears throat> all right I'll I'll be fixing okay. my bike in the meantime okay. pour oil on um, it's, it's a legendary ship he saved thousands of people with his crew and it's just like mm. are you okay gene are you okay do you need no, like a back rub or something no, don't touch me don't <laughs> i might need a beer <sighs> just i mm. Aldo looks at you and says um unfortunately we've seen the storage my storage is empty mm. I only had like a couple of uh, crates of spare parts. No beer, no wine. I, I, it's uh, Dawn. It's it's fine. I, it's it's all right. It's all right, old one. Uh, <clears throat> he he um he warns you again 
about the base uh, because just remember high quality stealth composites and your scanners your oh. unless you are a specialist it calibrates them on the spot in this Otherwise, you'll just have to rely on your eyes and ears. Well, luckily, I am skilled in both of those. Just, you know, You're... as he finally gets his claws on stuff. Oh, just, you God. know. Thank God. Not, uh... A hold on. Uh, a... He says something else, uh, which is, again, about the, the piece... We suspect um, they have been using something uh, was of unlife to facilitate their experiments. Oh, that's not good. And of course, you've you've already faced one of their creations, just like. I did back in the day. Who knows what they've done? Maybe, a maybe it's a, yeah, may, maybe it's a, a beast. Else, you'll you'll have to find out. Mm. Gentlemen, are you all ready? Uh, and... Black Knight, I wanted to oh. see if I could quickly repair my bike before we started. I think you did. Oh, I did? I did. Yeah, I think you did uh, repair it last time. I yeah. also fixed the uh, missile yeah, launcher. launcher. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Roro, I think Roro made <clears throat> missiles. Yeah, Roro made uh, crafted 10 missiles for O3. Yep. So next time uh, O3 starts breaking. Busting out the bike. Gonna give him uh, if you can, you can use the missiles. Uh, let's say if you get uh, um, lock and lock uh, from either of your party members. Um. Oh, I. By the way, Arthur, I don't. We haven't had time with everything we've been doing, but seeing as how. Aldewan is somewhat of a glass cannon right now. Did you happen to reach out to one of your friends to make sure that we can repair his omnidirectional firepower? Because right now, Aldewan's got a couple of ion cannons, but uh, it's not going to help us in a serious fight. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, give me one second and I'll make the call. Yes. Thank you. We're going to have to go into this without his omnidirectional firepower, but I would imagine if it's a bunker, he might be okay. All right. All right. Um, well, you can, you can bypass uh, the bull can bypass the um, Link through through the colonies. Um, and um, I would advise those of you who want to get at least one spare power pack to grab uh, at uh, from the colonists. Uh, they, yeah. as I said before, they can they can just give you one pack per person. Be it uh, a pistol pack, a rifle pack, it doesn't matter. So that's that's what they have. When when their parents, like the rest of the, the colonists, arrive uh, tomorrow in game time, they will bring 
everything that they have looted do, during their mission, etc. Et do they happen to have any health packs? Does the colony have any additional health packs they can spare? I, I understand that's a big ask. That's um, if you remember the the. They, uh, yeah, they, they kinda... these were sabotaged by the yeah, Tazaran commandos. Yeah, yeah, I figured I'd ask. And the bombs and the shit that they they planted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and so, uh, and uh, I have a vague. Packs, power packs have five shots to them. It depends on the weapon. Uh, beam pistol, my particle pistol, my masterwork one. It should, it should, it should say how many per pack. Uh, shit. Say on the on the weapon itself. I got it up right here. So, be particle beam, correct? Right. His particle his beam. should say his 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 gun should say uh, how much? It's, um, it's not saying okay. how many rounds mine holds. I, I believe it was the... five. I think it was. Five, look at look at your used... look at your weapon. Yes. Uh, tab. Weapon. Click on your weapon tab. Weapon tab. Uh, Black Knight, do I? Is there anything I learn while calling up both the sheriff and the gun runners? Uh, give me a second. So it should be ten shots per pack for that pistol. Oh yeah. Yeah, it says three times ten. Ten shots per pack of the pistol. Yes. Okay. I think. Fuck. I I haven't used many. I think I've only used four or five shots of it. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, I'll say. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll tell you what. Because I don't remember. I would rather. I would rather skew in favor of the game and not in favor of me. I'd rather say I'd use six six shots. Um. I don't think I've used six shots of it, but I would rather say that to because I just. I, I feel more comfortable with that. So, all right. Uh, power hey. packs. Power pack. There it is. Beam pistol power pack. I have three of them. Oh, no. I've used five. I've used five of the first power pack. Okay. I did keep track of that then. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Good. Okay. I did good. keep track of that. So, yes, I did use five. I have used five. So, so I still have 25 shots left of my... Okay. Beam pistol, which, and you are saying that we can get one more power pack from the. Each of us can uh, get one a... one more power pack of your choice. I would choose my one beam pistol person. because I still have a ton of gyro jet rounds. Okay. okay. I still have a ton of those, yeah. and I just, I would like to try to. In the case, in the case of the gyro jet rounds, you can just refill the magazines yeah. because they are like old, old school yeah. magazines. Yep. That's uh, all right. So I will take a. So I'm going to refill one power pack. So I have. If you lose, if you fucking lose your magazines, you know, it's like. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Um. The only thing that I would like to ask. Well, well, Alduan, fuck, we didn't, rip, God bless it, I wish we would have repaired his engineering station, because I really, really want my gyro, my, my freaking gyro jet assault, my, my, my jar to actually function. Um, mm, well, better. I would like it to function. It's we'll okay. see, Sorry. we'll see how, we'll see how soon the bikers will arrive, uh, and Go who exactly it. will arrive, um, and now I'm going to roll a die and see exactly who is going to fly. Uh, okay. Ooh, a 98%. Which means that the ship is really close. And it's loaded, like it's fully loaded with with guns and shit. Uh, all sorts of, all sorts of That's nice, awesome. nice, nice things. So, um, let's see the next guy, which is a thief. That's good. Exactly the NPC that I expected. I'm always like always when I roll four. 
fours, I, I am either rolling a one or I'm either rolling a three. So in this case, mm-hmm. I rolled a three. So I'm sorry. So um, you call, uh, you send a signal, you wait like for a few minutes. Um, um, after five minutes, maybe uh, you receive a confirmation that your single has a uh, signal has been received by a uh, ship. And um, and then you wait for another couple minutes uh, for the um, communication array to to focus uh, signal the beam because it's actually like uh, it's um, it's a ship which is in between systems. It's not it's not flying through hyperspace or through a wormhole is just it's just in between systems somewhere which is a practice that your people uh, have learned from a certain pirate clan by exterminating them eventually they have adopted this practice and uh, the ship it's it's not a super tiny ship it's a small um, heavily armed transport um and by small that's uh like about 200 something meters long and as i uh from from my die i know that it's it's full of of all sorts and ammunition etc etc so the ship can be can be here and tomorrow, like in in twenty something hours, um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, someone named um, Glaz uh, replies to you, altered. All right, and it's, it's Glaz with two Z's. Um, and, um, is, is, um, is human, but very old. And, um, when you send him the the call and the link, uh, what did you say in it? do i say in it well uh, what what because usually when you call a gun running ship uh since you're a biker you know you know the the procedure like the usual the tradition is that you say what you're looking for what kind of a gun you're looking for or equipment or ammunition because these ships they don't carry like anything else but guns and ammo, that's... <laughs> they don't they don't uh, carry, like, uh, uh, sp- spare s- subsystems for um, spaceships or tanks or whatnot. It's like, it's just guns and ammo, that's it. Okay, so out of character real quick, what, what weapons is everyone needing? Or I guess this is well, no, more well, in character. Well, this was for the omnidirectional firepower of Alduan and... We yeah, talked the about turrets. this like a month and a half yeah. ago. It's yeah. been a long time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And, and I, I, I'm getting there. And I believe. Yeah, yeah. what, okay. what did we talk about? So, what did we <laughs> say that we wanted? Uh, uh, you said that you either wanted uh, railgun turrets or laser turrets. I think we said we were going to split like half no, and half. Turrets. Yeah, six. Yeah, and half six and half. Omnidirectional defense turrets and like two twin uh, twin ion cannon well we have oh, the okay. twin ion cannons already so we need the okay. omnidirectional defense turrets which i think, I think we're, we're we were going to go with laser and then what was the other one we were going to go with uh two missiles two lasers two ballistic turrets or four lasers two missiles that's what i've written down here four missiles. yeah you can you can also you, when when the ship arrives 
because he um, Glass uh, says that yeah sure um, I, we have we have rail guns we have uh, lasers we have missile launchers we have uh, nuclear warheads we we have everything like we, we've just Hold I've it. just like loaded the ship the ship is like fully loaded oh. we even oh. have crates in the corridors like it's everything is secured uh if you have the money oh. we have the guns we have the ammo like Hold on. don't worry i'll do on in the days of <clears> old <throat> when your omnidirectional turrets were fully functional what was it that your old captains had what did you used to have mounted all the one Oh, well, it was like the depending on the mission, because you know, um, when you are stationed on a large carrier, they have all sorts of weapons, so you can replace, change uh, the guns. What was your sometimes, favorite? ah, my favorite. My favorite was always missiles. Missiles, gentlemen. Do you even have... though, even though, even though it's kind of a uh, uh, expensive on the ammunition uh, side, but with with all the files that you have provided me with, he says. Uh, I would like to try all the all of these new Terran weapons. We mm. can always we can always like uh, change them. Gentlemen, do you have any problem with doing a couple of omnidirectional missile turrets? I like things that blow up. I have no objection. It's perfectly to fine with me. Right, I can always send the order to Glaz. Let's do two missile turrets, and outside of that, I think lasers. Would or lasers? I think lasers would definitely help. Yeah. So two missiles. Sounds good. Two lasers or four lasers. Yeah. Also ballistic. Now the railguns, the railguns, uh, one of the things that you should know is that they have like specific attachments, uh, the different types of weapons. The missiles, obviously, you can launch different kinds of missiles from the the launcher the like the launcher is universal just like the launcher on altered spike um you can fire missiles with nuclear warheads you can fire missiles with plasma warheads you can fire missiles with emp uh uh warheads whatever like it's it's what what you you have access to and what you can craft uh the real guns they have Sometimes they have different ammunition, uh, even though like the cheapest stuff is metal slugs, which the gun just shaves off of, of a block of metal and then... I'm down with that. It. That seems easy. Yeah, that's it. And uh, when actually when you make like when you you uh, upgrade uh, railgun and you make it make it a uh, armor piercing uh, and when you add the armor piercing attachment it actually modifies the the mechanism that uh, shaves the the metal projectiles so it could use uh, instead of a simple piece of scrap uh, it it uses a piece of armor great mega steel. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And so the lasers, the lasers can 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 like you can overcharge them. Uh, well, you you could overcharge pretty much most most I weapons. Think we need like um, when the sh when the when the gun runners arrive, like when Glass arrives, like you can peruse the stuff that she has, like ask him Wait, stuff how about the guns. Like it's nah. How long, no problem. How long until Glass arrives? Uh, I I think I said that he will he he will arrive like in twenty something hours. 
Yeah. Oh, third. I think we got enough. Yeah. Oh, third. Do we have enough time that you might be able to craft something extra for my for my jar in twenty hours? I think twenty hours is plenty to manage. He can. He can. Like Glass has a crew. It's like fully crew chip. Uh, has well, plenty of bikers. Um, I think that ship has a crew of about 55. Uh, and all of them, like, all of them are specialized in different stuff. So, I mean, these are bikers. They they have fucking tons of of all sorts of guns. They have workbenches there. They can, uh, if you pay yeah. them, like, uh, if well, you, just trying to if you pay them, they can build I mean, stuff. It's yeah. 20 hours, so the longer we wait, the longer the beige team has to go through the Mirren bunker. Uh, you, 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 you don't, you don't have to wait. I mean, I, I wouldn't wait if I was. So are we just going to the Mirren bunker and then when we get back, Glass will be there? Is that what you're saying? I mean, you could wait. Um, you could wait one more day if you want. It's like it's it's your game. It's just is waiting really the wise decision oh, here? I think it is. I don't uh, think so either. Royce, I think you rolled your character rolled uh, in the very beginning about the, the Zarans, and you were. Uh, Cleaning the colony from the commandos is uh, surprises, the gifts that they left mm -hmm. for you. All sorts of bombs yeah. and traps yeah. and shit. They left them for a reason, if you remember correctly. Um, well, it's because they don't, from... want, they don't actually want to come up against anybody. They want to. Yeah, they want to they wanna go cripple, there, they do their the job. And, and, yeah, 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 and 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 get out. Like they're, they're not there to. If they were there to kill everyone, they would have, they would have like shot all the kids and just just yeah. or just dropped the bombs, <laughs> snuck inside the <clears throat> colony. Like these, these, these are commandos. They are not some like. Yeah. Some. Uh, gentlemen, all the one. While we. I think we go to the bunker. I don't want to wait for another day. I understand Glass is on their way, but they're 20 hours out. To be perfectly honest. As much as I would like to wait for Glass, I'm not sure if waiting is really the best decision no. here. Plus, I think we're, uh, as he kind of cocks his weapon and the charge goes off, I think we're ready. All right. I think Ro I'm ready. Roro. I know I'm ready. All right. Alduan. Alduan, set a course. Set a course for the mirror and bunker. Get us as close as you can. And we'll make our way on foot from there. Or, actually, we'll make our way on, on bike. From there, until we can't take the bike anymore. Uh, before you fly uh, off... Um to I um you would or you could just fly away and then talk to the sheriff on the comms that's a possibility mm. because the sheriff he uh he wanted to talk to you about about the Slavers, um, because they apparently had a bounty on them. Oh yeah, that's right. We were gonna get paid. Yeah, but but you you were so busy fixing the ship and and crafting parts and doing. Mm. And and by the way, he's he's still he's still recovering. Uh, the tough, tough bastard that he is, but he was like, All right, Mandos will... almost killed him. So he nearly died. I will, 
Uh, I'll radio to the sheriff just to let him know that we're departing. So I already went. Sheriff, what was the sheriff's name again? Sheriff. Um. So we, the sheriff is an. Oh, oh yeah, yes, you did. Yes. You did. I don't remember. His uh, name. The sheriff is is an albino gorilla. No, uh, I remember uh, that. I remember that. Yeah. I just don't remember his name. Let me check my notes. Is yeah. Let me check mine too. I I can I can tell you if you're. <clears throat> I just don't remember his name off the top of my head. I. So, well, I will radio to the sheriff real quick. Sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff. Uh, he he picks up the link. As he was like, "Yes, Captain, that is good. Uh, you're going. You're going. Uh, you're going to get to get them bastards." That's our goal. Just be careful. Just be careful. They almost killed me. Yes. Well, I they can bumped, promise you. They almost bombed me to death. I can promise you that they will pay for that. Say, as long as you and the children will be all right, I think the men and women, the older men and women, should be arriving here soon to help you out. Our goal is to go and get rid of them. And eliminate as many threats as we can for you fine folk. Is there anything that you have for us before we leave? He says, uh, well, I've been going over the, the scan logs and uh, all the data that you left uh, in the command post. And uh, it's I noticed uh, from my own files, like the sheriff files, that uh, these particular slavers, they had bounties on their heads. I think uh, you're owed some, some extra credits for, for their... Uh, for arranging their um, quite... quite uh, illuminating uh, end. Mm. He says, well, last, um, last I checked, if I, if I'm not mistaken, Sheriff, was it not Jerry's guns that took them out of the sky? And if it were Jerry's, yes, but, but yes, you but, killed them. But, uh, it was Jerry's guns that took them out of the sky. And if I'm not mistaken, it was a missile that was on this planet under yes, Jerry's who control. Who fixed the missile? Hey. Who fixed the missile? Who aimed the missile? Who Never fired been. the missile? What I'm saying is, Sheriff, and maybe my crew might disagree with me on this. But there are children here who are without toys and could probably use a little bit of joy. So, what do you say this? Why don't we split it? You take hey. half for the brave children, you take half for the brave children. You buy them something to give them joy and laughter once their parents return and we'll take the other half. Because I, I have a strong Jeez. feeling you wouldn't let me, you wouldn't let me tell you not to take all of it. Indeed, he's, he's, um, he laughs, says, good, that's, that's a great idea, Captain. Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll prepare half of it for you when you, when you come back. Uh, and he lowers his voice a bit. Mm. You promise me one of them, at least one of them, blow, them, blow him or her to pieces. I don't like, like my ass <laughs> to be uh, handed to me in the form of a um, Roro. bomb. <clears throat> Roro, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I did. 
Go I ahead. like the sound of it. You know, I got one of those cloak bombs right now. I mean, maybe you sneak in there and blow them up with your own weapon. That'd be poetic justice, huh? I'd be alright. Oh, you that. can you can even you can even use it as a grenade. Just uh, not like throw it, throw it. Just roll it on the floor. <laughs> I mean, if you do need that. somebody to do the sneaking and placing, just uh, get it prepped and I can put it there. Oh, so, gentlemen, yeah. I should have consulted with you boss. first, but are we all in agreement? We'll take half and let the other half go to something that the children can can get some joy out of. I already know what they're, they're all going to buy. Good. Gentlemen, Roro, Othard, Tuck. Is that a deal you guys are okay with? I'm okay with it. Yeah. Right. I have no objections. All right. Outside of that, the only other side of this is we need to blow the f fuck up these beige team <laughs> bastards for our good sheriff here. At least here. one of them. At Thank least you one just of made them. Roro's day. I can't wait. Let's get going. All right. Um, Let's burn some rubber. I, I don't think Alt Altoan, do you burn rubber? Is he he looks at you, says hmm. I retract my landing struts and he, and I scratch the uh, like the, the belly of my hull. Please don't, don't it will will this count? Please like, don't I'll I'll be burning no, please, paint. Please please Altoan don't do that. I Please don't scratch the surface. He, he he's is like wh while he's saying this, he's he's looking at you with like hey. a huge smile <laughs> on his face. Hey, please he's, don't, please. He's just fucking with you. I would. Do. Sheriff, we'll be back, and I promise you, you won't have to deal with these bastards anymore. All to one. Fire up the engines, gentlemen. Take your stations. It's time to go. Sheriff, before you, before you, this like you and the link says, "Oh, Captain, I think uh, now that I'm looking again, uh, else we could probably find uh, a job for you." Something that you from. Oops, say that again, Black Knight. Say that a little louder into the mic you cut out. Sheriff, the last thing that he says is that uh, he looked through his files and uh, could offer you a job. Oh. It's, it's pro most probably a job um from um uh, the minarch is civilian law enforcement mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's maybe uh something for isaac most probably something for isaac um because the sheriffs with isaac but they're elected locally elected mm -hmm. uh, by the colonists but Otherwise, they're working with Isaac. So, if he's he's telling you that he could give you a job, that's mostly an Isaac job. Which, which it if you choose to take this job, I mean, you'll have to vote for it, like, or like in decide you. Know, uh, it will be utterly hilarious because you have a space in your group, and. Um, they have a working understanding with Isaac. They they don't uh, step on each other's toes. But the the like the the opportunities for all play will be insane. I tell you what, Sheriff. Hold on to that thought. Let's revisit that once we get done with these Miran bastards. Once we get done with these beige team bastards. And I'd like to sit down and talk with you more about this. You're a captain. Good luck. 
Thank you. If you face something really, really strong there, don't be thinking about dying there. I have no I I have no idea what you're talking about. Gentlemen. He grins. He grins back on the hollow. Sheriff. Take care of the take care of the little ones. And tell Mary thank you for everything she's done. Talk, Roro, Othard. Take your stations. All the one. All right. Fire up the engines. Aye, aye, Captain. It's time to go. Don't blow shit up. <laughs> and then, all right. So, uh, how the quote unquote AI works or VI works is that they can do one job uh, for you, 1,000 jobs. Um, if you want, Aldion to fly himself and if he if you want him to fire the guns he can if he else he can but he can do literally everything he could try to do it but it's going to over task his um, mainframe and it might not be wise nope well that's why I have a gunner that's why you have a crew. That's why I have a crew. So, Alduan, take us to the location. Tuck, be on the scanners. Roro, All right. I want you on those ion cannons. And Othard, if... And what was... Why am I blanking on what Othard was... No, Othard did uh, the engineering, right? Yeah. Othard was yeah, that's engineering. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Othard, I want you to watch all of our all of our levels. Make sure that we're good. And if anything drops, let us know. Guys, stay on the lookout. And I will also be on the lookout. If we need to do evasive maneuvering, I will handle that. I'll take over. I'll do one. Outside of that, take us where we need to go. Or kept on. Well, um, it's it's not a huge planetoid, um, and this time, Aldon has engines, so he can actually fly, um, and uh, it has wings, so you you don't waste extraordinary amount of fuel. Uh, it takes just a couple of minutes. Uh, up using the graph plating of the uh, hull. It lifts up with using the graph plating and then flies through air, just like on the lowest setting. Um, otherwise, he might achieve velocity and just leave the other. So it's like the, getting there, it's not a problem. But landing is because, of course, the fucking Mirans, they built their secret base in the most unhospitable and and rocky terrain uh, possible. Like they, they picked it on do, purpose. Do we have to land? So uh, you could uh, well, you could leave the you could leave Aldon to hover on his uh graph plating because he has enough power now the reactor is working perfectly well and you could just like descend from from him i was gonna say and, because uh, we've got i've got 30 feet of mega steel rope just me yeah yeah all the one oh it's it's i mean it's pretty close to the ground i mean it's like um a few feet yeah you could just jump if he if he doesn't yeah i mean he just can't land i mean it's like the terrain is uneven. It's, he he it's will move back. The, fucking Othar just has to sit on his butt at the end of the fucking ramp and just put his feet on the ground. Like the rest of us will have to. Othar, would you mind? I'll do one. As long as engines are good, why don't you stay in the air? Othar, would would you mind helping a short folk down to the ground? 
I'll see what I can do. <laughs> hey, keep yourself. Tuck and I got yeah, grappling hook. I, 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 I got a, I got a grappling hook. Well, this as, on this. Like, you are not shooting as, a grappling hook into Alduin. You no, are not, I, you're not. No, I, I'm, I'm not. not Don't shooting worry, it I can pick it. you up without any Here, problems. No, I, no, I just, no, just I, hold. I, I, the, just, just hold. Hey, Captain, Captain, let me talk. Just, Other, just hold on to the end of this. I'll just lower myself down. It'll be fine. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> I just grab the end yep. of it. And, the, and then he just does that. There we go. That seems See, really I didn't it's stick quite... it into your ship. <laughs> it's not. It's all done. It's not. It's. Uh, it's I mean, you could. It's 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 it's, it's, it's harmless. It's legendary. It's. It's, it's harmless. Timeless with generations. Of um. Have... Royce, you when you when you fix cloud. when you fix the paint job of all done, then you might worry that. Um, uh, you could scratch the paint. No, no, but I'm not. Right now, no, 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 my, you have no, no paint, nothing. He's not it's like... worried about the paint job. <laughs> this is all Duan. This is a ship of legend that has been passed down for generations from the Dysentry. And on top of that, it's vintage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm <laughs> setting this, down. Uh... I don't want to do anything. Anything additional to Alduan? One, because I have a lot of respect for for the past, is, and two, because I want to bring Alduan in the absolute best condition that I can, and I don't want to have to repair a lot, and show those old fat sows on my fucking planet that vintage actually means something. I don't like them. I don't like the fat. I don't like the old broads. They're they're very. Mm -mm. Um, I think that if you go, if your party goes back to your home planet with the, with Odun, uh, uh, like a lot of a lot of Zentry. A lot of Zentry, what? They they will shit themselves. <laughs> they will shit themselves. Good. Good. They were just That's like, not... what the fuck That's... is this? Let's not let's not damage Alduan then. Let's not let's not try to. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So Tuck's slowing himself on a grappling hook. I'm already on the ground. I just oh, I have to roll God. anything. Right as I'm right. returning no, the I other say, end of the grappling hook, I, say, I just pull it, out I the jump. can what of oil and say, I, "I get tired of it. I say fuck it. I jump. What do I have to roll, Black Knight, to make sure that I don't get hurt? Athletics. Oh God. Don't worry, I've got the oil with me just in case you get stuck. Um, what? Where's the engines are very last. I can always toss it down. Sure. I don't have <laughs> athletics in up. my skills. Roll it Good. anyway. I don't have Good. athletics. Um, it skill. should be up at the top. Uh, got wait, a praise yeah, no. and no, no. auto hypnosis. I have, uh, jump. I have a, literally a thing called ooh, jump. Yeah. Jump would work. Oh, jump, jump, climb, and that they are. Yeah, I had by, athletics by athletics. The, yeah, below. they are replaced by athletics. You just, you just. Oh. Yeah. Probably oh, yeah. I've forgotten jump. to. to I'm add it. Yeah, athletics is down. Oh at the fuck me bottom. sideways. I hit the deck hard. Oh, nice. So, yeah, you, you jump. It's like a super easy jump. It's like probably two meter jump or something. And you just land with your face. Uh, with my drops. face. You just. One and you take gotta... one one hit point of damage. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna, did I'm we gonna ever, make, I'm gonna did make... we ever rest? Captain, I could have helped you. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. God, Chuck doesn't get hit. <laughs> Sorry, I just I still worried about you guys t t damaging. Although, never mind. Let's you just... you try to jump, but but at the last like second, like the edge the of fucking... your boot, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the ramp, like the edge of the ramp, it was just. Uh, uh, Captain, are you are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, it's faceplate. It's fine. That's a good one, Gene. Nice jump. 10 out of 10. Just I just casually step uh, down. To all do one. Just, just, just all do one. Stay on I'm comms if we need you. 
Just be ready. Burbo hops off onto a. Uh, I added level. it. I added the uh, athletics uh, skill to your um, skill tab. Yeah, you can. Yeah, was Everyone has that. athletics. It's just um, some characters has have it as a strain skill, as a train skill like scouts and grenadiers, I think, and ogres, etc. Et so, so um, but everyone can can uh, use it. It's just like right. I turned uh, turned to Roro oh. real quick, and I say, you know, <laughs> now that you're on my shoulder. I'd been considering this now that you've got a grappling hook. I can always just toss you a distance, and then you can close that even farther with your grappling hook. It's an idea, anyway. Uh, here's uh, another idea. I'm going to stash this grenade in your backpack just in case I need it later. I'm going to start using you as a little holder for extra things I have. Because if you didn't know, I have a lot of grenades. I'm not oh, sure how much I like the idea of this, but <laughs> at the oh, same time... Is. The extra protection is there. I mean, cool. yes, I sir. mean, you. I mean, with all of those grenades and those long ass hands, why didn't you just charge all of them up and you do somewhat of a grape shot? You. I mean, I mean, if you guys are doing a combo move, you try. Ro Roro, you just you throw a bunch of grenades in Oathard's hand and then Oathard just essentially throws what would be a, a shotgun blast of grenades at, at the enemy. I can also channel in my Odin force. I didn't even think that about that. would be really cool. All so right. uh, Robo takes that cloak bomb that he had from um, Jerry and stashes it on uh, Othard. All right. So, okay. I look, so you said it's um, a cloak bomb? So yeah, it's a cloak bomb. Yeah, it's I, a disarm uh, coke bomb, the one that uh, you guys disarmed. Uh, yeah. The village, yeah. So And recovered it. So I think I gave you all the data about the, that bomb, like how much yes. damage it did. Uh, you gave it to somebody. You didn't give it to me, that's yeah. for sure. You uh, gave it to somebody. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at my notes. Was that in a DM? Oh. I know we got it. No, no, you didn't give us how much damage it did. Just uh, DM it to Trippy really quickly. Yeah. DM it to Trippy really, or, or put it in our gilded chat. Yeah, it's uh, good chat and, uh, well, I went ahead and added the cloak bomb, just where he, Roro is stuffing it into a, my own pack. I uh, I should have at least given you how much it weighs, and uh, I will be right back, guys. Yeah, I think we should we should do minute. like a a couple of minutes of of uh, let pay for a bio break or something soon. Sure. All right, we, we can, can just do, do a bio that. break right now. Then. Yeah. That's yep. Do that. Uh, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right oh, back. Oh God. Yep. Where's that?
right, I'll go ahead and add that to my items. some bunker busting well we are on the bio break say hello to the chat been watching over 20 minutes and have not seen any gameplay yet you guys starting soon and we're doing a lot of role play uh focused and honestly we're not professionals at this we're just doing this to have fun so uh we're gonna get into going into this bunker very soon uh, also, we have a lot that we have to get through. We've got Tim Allen. Tim Allen wanted to ask a question earlier. Let's get to that. He says, what type of weapon does Royce's character use in combat? My character uses uh, basically a futuristic AK that shoots explosive rounds. Um, mm. And as well as it has a bayonet affixed uh, to the end of it. And then I also use a very specific uh, a very specific type of uh, particle beam uh, pistol uh, it's kind of a masterwork one I got it uh, my character history I actually got it off of an old uh, an old enemy and I took it because it's vintage my character very much loves vintage uh, stuff so I, I definitely kept that one he also asks and who has the monstrous weapon in the crew that others fear um Roro that? is the monstrous weapon that's what uh, i was no, about to say Othard, Othard, i think Othard is our monstrous <laughs> weapon dude when you squeezed that guy and popped him like a grape i think yep. Othard. Uh, i mean he's a 15 foot tall as guardian so the problem riding, is, is that uh, everyone sees go? Othard yeah. coming, but Roro is the small little guy who sneaks in from behind and just tosses several grenades, and that's it. Roro's got a lot of grenades. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget the your um, your bunny long range specialist. 
Yeah, that's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, fuckers. but what weapon do others fear? I, I honestly, I think actually all of us have struck a good balance so far. I mean, it really, I think, I think the weapon that everybody fears is, well, who will come to fear in this universe as we continue to play this game, I think it's going to be our teamwork because all of us have worked together as a team. So Black Knight's run this campaign for many years. He's crafted it and developed it. And we are some of the first uh, crew to actually do the things in this campaign that we have done. So Tim Allen, I'm not sure if you are aware, but if you go over to the ADWC replay channel, um, you can actually watch all of the uh, other episodes from start to finish and catch up. Um, and see exactly how we've played this. We've done some really killer things so far. We've had a lot of sessions. Um, right. We've had, I think, the last four four sessions have really been a lot of dialogue, a lot of figuring stuff out, uh, a lot of crafting stuff because we legitimately just got a legendary star shuttle like a mission or two ago, and we've been working to get Alduan back up and running. But yeah, it's. Uh, <clears throat> Um, it, yeah, it's, uh, uh, is this setting closer to Firefly, Star Trek, Star Wars, or Battlestar Galactica? Um, it's Star Shatter. You can actually go on Amazon.com and you can actually buy. So, uh, if you guys can see my camera and I am not going to adjust it to show my full camera screen because that would screw everything up. Black Knight, how many books have you written um, so far? You've got 11 or 12 I've books. I've got 11, 11, one, 11 books out. Um, 11 books. So if you guys are interested in the world that we're playing in, you guys can go buy those books. Look up Star Shatter by Black Knight on Amazon, and you guys can read the books that tell the mainline story of the world that we're actually playing in. So you guys can actually... Yep. Yeah, it's not it's, only not only the main uh, story, the, the main series, but like the uh, the two anthologies with a whole bunch of of extra uh, content, which is like short stories in the form of short stories uh, with with various different characters from various backgrounds and and. Uh, races, um, and then it's it's pretty well fleshed out. And you also have like uh, the glossaries in in the, um, in in these story collections, which can give you an extra uh, information about the various technologies uh, in star in the Star Shuttle. Vehicles, the races, um, the religion. It's it's uh, it's probably going to grow even more with them because I plan on releasing at least one anthology book per year. So, yeah. There you go. Um, all right. If everybody is ready, are all the guys back? <clears throat> I'm ready to okay. rock and roll. Tuck, you oh, back. Okay, so Tuck. I think I think it is. Mm -hmm. I'm back. All right, you got gotcha. right. So so I think we're ready. Um, All right. I uh, I gave you I gave you the information. Uh, I copy pasted uh, that Star Uncle Kim Pom and, mm -hmm. and yeah, I got that down. All right. So, so we go. I stand. I I turn away from the crew after I face planted on the ground. I was staring at the crew and talking with them. I turn away from them, and I look in the direction of the bunker, and I say, gentlemen, get ready. Let's go. I just pull out my Mauser, and I go, right after you, Captain. All right. I take my first steps towards the bunker, and after the first few steps, I quicken my pace into a jog and then eventually into a run. And I get up to the door of the bunker and try to open the door. 
So I will I will give you uh, all, all the extra descriptions this time. Mm. I will not spare anything. Uh, well, so as I, I previously mentioned, this is like um, the Mirans chose the probably the worst kind of terrain to build the bunker um, underground. Uh, and you're just uh, running across uh, a very steep um, uh, rocks um, and they it's it's mostly volcanic rock it's very very ancient old it's not it's actually cooled chilled uh, lava but you know you've 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 seen plenty of volcanoes you know how how they look uh, after many thousands of years have passed like you know uh in some cases like this uh planetoid you have jagged rocks sticking uh, in different directions and it's mostly i mean um wind erosion etc etc it had smoothed some of the the rocks uh, but mostly it's it's a horrid place to to uh, be around it's like you, you can't just you can't just uh, calmly walk anywhere you have to really uh, try try hard to not trip somewhere and then and, and fall but you're you're quite competent like and you know where exactly where you're going so you you manage to reach the the area where the door uh of the bunker is of course it's hidden but you know where it is and um the door is actually it's it's the outer part of the door is is made from the same rock so it's almost indistinguishable of course this being a secret bunker they had to make it hard to find otherwise it would defeat the purpose to to build a secret base um but someone has blown a hole through uh the side of the door like the weakest part of the door and you can see that um, they've bored a hole, a smaller hole, which a human-sized uh, person can can crawl through um, with plasma, um, uh, with a plasma bomb or a plasma grenade or whatever, you, or maybe a cutter. You have no idea. Um, you all of you can can crawl inside through through that hole even Othar? uh i was about Othar to ask has to, yeah Othar has to uh like pick it pick like pick it up um pick the door up like push it up or to the side this damn Try. door it's not very accommodating towards as guardians well, I mean, the, it's... the Mirans weren't exactly accommodating to most people. Well, that's pretty good, it's... because I won't be accommodating towards them, either. It's tall enough, so... So, like, the, the entrance tunnel is tall enough, so... So, uh... The Mirans, if they had power armor mechs, they could operate them, like, everyone... Pretty much everyone has, like, all the huge empires had power armor mechs, so it would be logical if they built any facility to have taller ceilings why a little bit wider tunnels so they could operate their best uh, units there if, if they had to defend the facility so yeah you enter um and uh, the moment you enter this this and this um tunnel you notice something um it and that is that that was um that was like an elevator actually uh which 
um, has long since ceased operating because someone fought there um, be using uh, energy weapons and explosives and fiber weapons and this this there is a, a big hole um, at the back end of the floor of this area which you can use to climb down and reach the bunker proper uh, but this area it it's completely wrecked it's destroyed it had like uh, I see security turrets uh, which they are, they were blown to pieces uh, like some some debris still hanging from the ceiling or the the, the walls um, and of course there are some some debris uh, pieces of equipment long since dilapidated like it's it's everything is in ruins uh, there are some some Miran letters um, on on the floors and and the walls, which they they are somewhat close to French speak because the French speak is is the language which evolved from uh, the Miran language. So anyone who has a French speak can try to discern what it says i have french speak <clears throat> okay so you 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 try to read the uh, really like badly worn out uh letters and what it, would that be what role would that be no you just like anyone who knows french speak if you know the language you could you could try to to uh to read it is just it's not going to be a perfect translation because it's not not miran miran it's just the evolution of the language mm. it's like you trying to read like something in old english ah old english is a very different yeah. language yeah old english is old english is closer to germanic yeah. so it's um, some numbers. Uh, you discern some some numbers, a couple of numbers, um, which is probably the number of, of the facility. It's uh, number two hundred ninety four, um, and the word which is before the numbers. It's something like you 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 vaguely translate it to. Um, hi hidden hole, uh, which is probably the old word, the old Miran word for bunk for a bunker, for a stealth bunker, a hidden base, or like something like that. Uh, which tells you that this is a, a this is this is there are other bases at least two hundred and ninety three or were similar basis and uh, there are a couple of other letters which they look really weird um, they are not specifically Miran um, they almost look ominous and um, None of you can read them. Mm. They 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 look almost uh, like almost like um, some some really really creepy uh, hieroglyphics. And I don't like the look of this writing. The more the more like the longer you look at one of them, uh, you could swear that that the like the the edges of it kind of shift Ready? as, as if as if it's Ill if it's alive this gives me the creeps Alduan, pulls out his, uh, grenade launcher Alduan, are you saying that, that moves. 
other one are you seeing this on the on the video feed uh hold on you you can you can still talk to Aldon, but the the moment you descend through that hole um because you can't use the elevator it's ruined uh the moment you descend down you'll probably you'll probably lose comms with Aldon because of the nature of the like the building materials that materials that were used for the base so can all the one hear me now with what we're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Can, yes, can I yes, send all the one video feed? Can I send all the one video feed? So you send him holo holo feed and all the one says, oh, exactly what, what we know. We knew of the Mirans uh, who did this. These, these uh, words of fun life. All right. Have their own their own first language. Gentlemen, strap in. This you, is going to be a fun ride. Which few knew, but those who dealt with the unlife wraiths and uh, some even sold their souls to them in change of power never ended well well that doesn't do uh, that's pretty fucking ominous <sighs> this and, place uh, gives he, me the creeps he hmm. says uh, Stay all all facilities all Miran facilities in the war their civil war who uh were involved in these kind of experiments with young life. They had at least one person adept in dealing with young life. All right. All of the these gentlemen. of the, their powers. A gentlemen, strap in. Stay your nerves. We're going to descend. All the one. thinking we're dealing with ghosts. As he kind of charred, picks up the pirate pill beam. Uh, well, Aldeon says that. I'm not sure, but what I'm sure, what I'm one hundred percent, he having something which is. Built mm. or or otherwise um, partly infused with uh, with the some some monstrous war beasts or maybe in they rarely had. Or quite the quite powerful raids, like the one you fought and defeated, and I did do back in the day. Uh, Starfighter raid; these were rare. I'll do on stay on the ready if we don't make it out. I want you to, I want you to use the ion cannons to destroy anything that comes out of here. Outside of that, gentlemen, ready your weapons. Let's go. Right. So, all right. You crawl through the hole in 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 the floor of the elevator, the big elevator. Slowly descend. Um. There is no light, um, mostly elevator shaft. Uh, it was a grav machine, so there are no cables or anything. Uh, but, but on on the walls of the shaft, uh, there are metallic leather 
um, loot protrusions, um, and you use them to. Obviously, they had inbuilt like these for maintenance. If the elevator was damaged, so they could climb. So you use these to climb down and descend into the shaft down to the. Uh, okay. Uh, it's it's pitch back so you activate your um, suits um, headlights yeah you have these that in built in your suits uh, those of you who want to be hidden uh, and and use like the the camouflage or something if you activate your headlights you'll be instantly seen because uh, uh, but if you have night vision if you have thermal you could you could cloak yourself and use the thermal see to look around so I have no idea what you have what kind of goggles etc I don't so. think I have any I think I'm just I right. just activate your headlights, the headlights of your uh, suit. All right, so, gentlemen. Eyes peeled. Eyes peeled weapons at the ready. We don't know what we're facing move. down here. It takes you um, about minutes uh, climb down each the door another door which is also cut sliced uh, and multiple times uh, you realize that just like before like the the door which was up um, of the bunker this one is is cut in the same with uh, uh but you after you actually enter you realize that uh someone opened the doors these doors someone opened them long long ago in the distant past and then close them and then somebody else open them again and then close them again and then someone welded them shut with pl a plasma cutter and then some some someone blew blew another hole in them and and others repaired it using like uh, there was a of a battle bits here. and pieces of metal uh from the base itself uh, already, if you if you try to use your hand scanners, uh, the hand scanners outright refuse to work. Um, they say incoherent data input because it's uh, like it's everything is built from stealth composites, and they just the the scanning rays just just vanish. They they get soaked, uh, swallowed by the walls means. and the floor. <clears throat> we're in the midst we're in the midst of a great battle that's taking place or at least a hell of a fight in addition to that scanners aren't working I'm fairly certain Alda One can no longer contact us so we're on our own keep your heads and your wits about you and let's find out what these beige team bastards are looking for Let's just get this over with. Hey, Tuck, can you see uh, that signal, the cloak residue? That there we go. Behind? That's why I was on mute. So, so, um, let me, let me tell you how Before you get into that, looks. I, uh, before you get into that, I want to hopefully add some more ambiance. I wanted to roll a, sorry, I was on mute for a while. <laughs> Um, can I roll a listen check now that we've gotten 
deep down in there. Mm -hmm. Can I do this? Yeah, same? I was I was about to to uh, give you um, like as part of the description how everything uh, everything looks, how the area looks, and then I would ask you to roll uh, spots spot and listen checks. Obviously, you're not breathing the air. You have your suits, uh, your face closed, shut. Um, and those of you who are not stealthed, not cloaked, uh, and you have your headlights activated, you can see that there are particles in the air. Like a on second look, they look like some somewhat like spores or something like some some something that a mushroom would uh, release some big 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 a big plant or something it doesn't look safe to breathe um the corridor before you it it looked um like someone navigated it and picked clean all of the the bodies because there are bodies uh very very old ancient uh most of them their bones have turned into dust and then there are just like broken mangled suits of armor husks um some of them even the 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 paint that they were painted with it's just nothing nothing is left and if if you thought that watching a dilapidated bodies corpses was um disturbing uh the these these uh, husks and and bits and pieces of armor of ancient armor which is blown to pieces, uh, shot, melted, cut with vibroblades and whatever, it 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 looks even worse to you. It, it um, it's the whole area looks like it has been fought over multiple times. So and and it it the most recent um change to the area is what i mentioned in the beginning is that someone had navigated this entire place and they have picked clean everything useful from from these husks these broken uh pieces of armor and you can see how someone moved them because there are indentations in 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 the, the dust and the dust on the floor it's a mix a uh, mixture of rust um broken concrete which it didn't turn into dust and uh slagged slagged power packs many of them a lot a lot of slack power packs really old power packs also, you you could see uh, here and there. You could see like empty mat packs from different ways of crafting, probably from different uh, armies or maybe manufacturers. That like, none of them looks modern, but but the principles are the same and the technology is pretty much quite similar. So. You could recognize them that they are like, like yeah, someone had tried to save themselves, but they either failed or subsequently were killed by something or someone else. And um, it's again, it's pitch black. Uh, you when you use your headlights to uh, examine the walls and the ceilings, um you see that yes indeed there were uh lights of 
illumination devices of, of sorts. But they, most of them were destroyed. And even those who look intact, um, they have no power um, running to them. So uh, the other thing is that there are doors uh, with panels next to them. Um, strangely enough, the panels, even though they look damaged, um, they're kind of operational. And and the longer you look at like the closest of them, like this one here, uh, it would seem that it the panel has power. Um, on a second glance, uh, you notice that someone had jury rigged the panel with the power pack, so it it, it could be operational, and uh, that was was done recently because it's like the dust had been cleaned and the power pack is obviously at the zaran power pack so think of it what you will now you, you i would ask of you to roll listen sport checks and from tuck um he can Surely roll a survival check and give you a different edge. All right, I will roll to spot, see if I, I'm kind of like seeing anything, just scanning the area. Oh. Mm. Well, Otard, you, you see exactly what I, I described, I just described. Should not have gone just to the GM. I hate that. Um, <clears throat> what what you actually hear is um, at first you hear like distant um, distant sounds of metal hitting metal, um, and the longer you you listen, you realize that that's that's probably a mechanism which is is hitting something um and a few like probably half minute later you realize that's that's most probably a door which cannot close fully because there is some some obstruction and it's 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 hitting it's hitting it like and and again and again and again. all right I'll, and, um uh, if you'll let me Play with that little information just a little bit. Um, the way, like, as Tuck kind of listens in his, as you, you, you know how rabbit's ears kind of like move on a swivel. His ears start to kind of twitch just slightly every time he hears that clank, clank, clank noise. And he kind of like nods up. Uh, like, not, nods his head up, and in his, uh, over the radio, he says, Gotta, sounds like we got a deeper in, we got a door stuck. I'm gonna hazard a guess that, uh, some, hopefully it is just a pipe, but we're probably, knowing that we're in a spooky undead base, it's probably a corpse. Hmm. Um, Talk. This panel over here, it's yeah. on. It's definitely not powered by the main base. Yep. Yeah. Do me a favor, plug into it, try to hack it, and let's see if we can't get. Uh, let's see if we can't get a better layout of what this base looks like. Oh, no, no um, promises. And you can keep going the, while I roll this. The next thing which happens is that. When you look again, um, Aurora, you notice you notice that there is um, 
uh, grenade, uh, which again it's a Tazaran grenade, and the panel has been booby trapped. So, um, you also notice that the second panel over there, which you also see over here, it's also jury rigged with the Tazaran power pack, so it could it could be operated, and it's also uh, booby trapped with a grenade. Um, Wait, don't go near those panels. I see booby traps on them. Uh, so, Robo hops off to go, uh, um, you know, disarm the booby traps. Yeah. Um, and with your survival check is really high. So you've been trained. Uh, you've been trained to to scout. Um, <clears throat> Places like this, similar places, you, you've had like enough uh, thorough training. Uh, probably the the difference is that this is a quite an ancient base. It's not nothing that you've ever um, been into, but the principles are uh, similar. So basically, you cannot expect. To find anything to eat here, um, and probably the air would be toxic. If you if if your suits get damaged uh, to to their face plates or anywhere else, and and the atmosphere actually uh, breaches your um, NBC seals, the NBC seals of your on the suit, and you breathe breathe it or or it gets into the, your blood, uh, you will most probably be poisoned slowly uh because it's like it's full of toxins uh even the the bodies that that uh slowly 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 uh rotted away uh and all the chemicals and most probably one of the the, the uh, major problems are with with the stealth composites that the base is built from and uh, throughout the millennia, it kind of degenerated, and the the, the chemical compounds which this 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 uh, material is, is made from, they kind of dissolved partially, um, into and and this now permeates the air, and uh, that's like you're, you're actually um, if you if you would be breathing it, you would be breathing. Toxic battle. So that's what you you know from your survival skill. Um, the second thing that you you know from your training, from your survival training, is that these places they have uh, the obvious thing is that they have they probably had automated defenses. You're not sure, sure how how many of these are still operational. Um, and and the second thing is that almost all of these old places, old bases, um, they had either they had sleeper uh, sleepers, rest in stasis pods to defend the base when someone intrudes and in, in like tries to conquer the base uh, or instead of sleepers uh, they might have like robots mm. so yeah um, the dust also the dust you realize that the dust is also toxic um, mm -hmm. yeah you, 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 you yeah, don't you already... want to yeah you don't want to munch the dust. Yeah, you already said that. Yeah. yeah, most of the stuff in here is toxic. <clears throat> yeah, which um, Duck will be like as he's like awkwardly like you know keeping his hand away from the explosive on the panel. 
Um, as a direct note, do not when you like be careful. Don't cut yourself in here, and uh, obviously don't breathe in the uh, dust and or you know gases in here. This entire place is essentially made of a spe- like super asbestos. So, you know. <laughs> yep. Stealthy, yeah. stealthy super asbestos. <laughs> yeah, Basically, what... don't allow your suit to get nicked. Yep. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm picking up on. That's what I'm picking up on my suits readings as well. All right. Um. So. If I want Tuck to hack this thing, we've got to get rid of these fucking grenades. Or these booby traps on these panels. Mm-hmm. Well, these, these iron commandos, they're consistent. Yeah, so... And, and you gave them plenty of time to, to scout the base. They booby trap the shit right. out of it. So, how do we dis... How, uh, what do we need to roll to get rid of these? Oh, we have... You have your grenadier, he knows what, uh, what skill to roll. Um... Oof. Uh, you might, you might, you might want to reroll that. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> we're gonna get blowed the fuck up. Um, Do you have an extra reroll? Yeah, you all of your um, your um, oh no, your um, hero points are uh, recharged. You've been recharged. Well, I just uh, used, so how many point hero points do I have? One per person. One. No, just that yeah. one, huh? So wanna... after like after the after the after level six, you will get one more. Hmm. Well, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's just a bad roll. Oh, also on my screen, the um, map is all black. I don't see anything yet. Yeah, it's, just- it's supposed to be like that. Uh, it should be. You, you should be. Uh, the part that I should be able to see the bottom part of it. There's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, small yeah. little yeah. Video. Scroll down, corridor. Yeah. Scroll down. Yeah. yeah. It just refresh now. Mm-mm. No, the side parts, the side parts. Don't, uh, not don't re- do you see any of our yes. characters or no? Yes, I do. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, we're in a little like rectangular hallway okay. thing that's lit up yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's all black. Yep. I'll just um, don't don't just just walk around willy nilly. That's. So what's up with the door? I did the demolition check. Uh, well, <laughs> what's gonna happen? It's it's is going to explode. Oh. So, <laughs> um, I I would ask you to roll a reflex check. Yeah. Everyone who who is um, standing next, next to the next to the panel here. All right. It'll be uh, both t- Tuck and Rumro. They're both going. Uh, on. Well, well, since yeah. all of you are next there, are there, like, one is here. Have to roll. All of you have to roll. I don't have a reflex check. It's under the stats for oh, your character Got sheet. It. Yep, see it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> okay, not so, bad. Um, so let me see. <laughs> yeah, so Robo goes, Oh shit, everyone get back! <laughs> Duck's back. <laughs> so, that's. I'm sorry, what? Let's see. Oh shit. <clears throat> you get. You, 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 most of you, you managed to, to, uh, roll away. Uh, and, um, but, but you still get, uh, the shock damage the, the, uh, for, from the force of the explosion. Um, you get nine points of damage, all of you. Holy shit. 
Uh, and the panel is destroyed. Uh, the panel is destroyed and the door let me see what happens right now i'm going to roll a luck see look uh i need to use this may want a little back. warning next time roro -ro. holy shit. <sighs> oh, and, and the door really weird can anybody else can anybody else can anybody else got that close bomb. so the explosion it's it's not a super powerful grenade it's um light um grenade which is um, one of the favorite uh, grenades to use by by the commandos because it's light it's easy to, to go uh, further away it's um, it also does not have shrapnel it, it relies on uh, uh, show shock of the explosion yeah yeah um, and um, these are perfect for like such missions because they are not big they're not bulky they're light as i said so they have a lot of them probably um and like you said they've they've booby trapped this panel and that panel probably booby trapped many 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 more things but the explosion echoes throughout the corridor uh and you see more dust uh just like drizzle top of your heads or your helmets and that that sound of that door hitting whatever it was hitting it stops abruptly it just stops and and it's it's replaced by another sound which is um the clank of metal and it's it's um it's not a chaotic clank it's it's a rhythmic clank so um um the door this door um the although the panel is destroyed um something something short circuits inside the panel during the explosion and this door like half of it opens here like half of it mm -hmm. uh, and uh that that rhythmic uh, metallic sound it, it's getting uh closer and closer um all right uh, and, and uh how much yeah was that again nine points of damage okay so tuck is going to look over ah well uh apparently i was wrong about that clanking being a body it's uh his ears tip yeah he's a uh, he's uh, coming this way uh -oh. thing, the thing is the thing is that that um i'll I'll ask you to roll initiatives. Because um, that door over here, which is halfway open, you see a, a metallic hand. It's um, greenish uh, painted with like a greenish uh, paint, which was uh, once bright green a camouflage uh, color or whatever it was and um out of that half open door uh, um pops almost crawls one leg it's two two hands are there but there is like the uh the lower part of the leg of the robot is gone. It's like blown up, um, and it's it's it looks like a very old um, combat. Um, roll twenty one. Let me roll robot. initiative. Uh, click on your token and then click the roll button. Yeah, there yeah. is a. Why? Why? Why are you? Right. With just eight hit points, Royce. 
Because I took nine hit uh, points because of damage. It, uh, like I told you before, the, yeah, the tokens are not... Uh, their HP is not attached to... No, 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 no. I, uh, guys, I only had... I only had 17 HP oh, no. to start this session. Oh, yeah. Didn't you heal up? We never we healed. healed we never took a yes, long we did. rest. We, we did after last session. Yeah, yeah. we did. Yep. Oh, it was it was all of us yeah. working together yeah. to work on the yeah, ship. And was, we were. I, I didn't assume that was a long rest. I I, I assume you that you I, worked you worked for a couple of days. Well, yeah, but I, but I, but working don't for a few to... days isn't a long rest to me, so that was never conveyed. So, oh, yeah, the DM said reset. No worries, um, no worries. Um, so yeah, it, be... it was something I was asking Black Knight about before Minus the nine, game started. So that would have been. So I'd be at. 20. Oh yeah, no, that's why. Yeah, you weren't there when we actually confirmed it. Yeah. You stepped up. That's right. Okay, all right. So I'm at a twenty-nine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I said. We never actually said, hey, we're going to take a long rest to regain health points. We literally just worked for a few days, which in my mind, which I'm would like, mean uh, like every time we rushed, we would heal up like a roll. So right. if we worked like a week, we would have healed up. Yeah, no, I, I just amount. I didn't. I yeah, no, I, I that that was my bad. Then I just I'm still new to the tabletop side of stuff, so I, I didn't... No worries, no worries. We also asked that before, and you weren't there, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is Not a your combat fault. droid we got to fight? I just... There's some green scary hand poking through the door right now, and I'm not yeah, afraid of this. Yeah, so uh, I would ask you to to uh, check and see if... So... Ah, okay, so the hit points have a bit. Uh... Should, these should have been. I mean, they they should be linked. To the... oh, I'm not worried it's... about that. Like I said, I'm. I did it myself. I did it last time. I checked it last time. I did it in the beginning. Then they were linked. No uh, idea why? It's why? Roll twenty. Mm. Yep. Roll twenty you, does that sometimes. If you, yep. if you want, I can. Uh... Like at, at some point, I can um, you can just make me DM and I and have me. No, uh, no, I I I fixed it. They they are just like probably during the last updates they fuck. Maybe it's not saving. It's not properly saving the uh, when 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 I did it. it... Uh... You can manually, you can manually um, change the hit yeah. points. We'll yeah, the tokens, I'll, right, so. I'll shift it around. We'll do it. Okay, so. so let's see. I so, myself. Who deleted himself? I, 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 yeah, I think I did, um, because I was going to change the. I was gonna change the uh, health on my bar, <laughs> then it deleted it. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, it, like, just, it, like, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I did everything as I was supposed to do, uh, and, and I, uh, Here. there is like, I don't know what, what is this site doing. All right. Yeah crazy um so let's see the things guys give me a second i'll be right back your turn was 16 points.
last but still oh still they're a bit faster than elgin so yeah um Waiting for uh, Royce. It's gonna go last. I think we got a little time. He gets back. What's the um splash damage on grenades? If Bravo launches his grenade launcher right now, is it gonna hit Tuck, Gothard, and Gene? Um, you should. It it should be there. Um, it should be there on on your uh, weapon. No. Oh, I just saw it. Grenade launcher. That's not work. <clears throat> uh, it says range 70. I don't get this left. Oh, what kind of a grenade are you launching? What What's the magazine loaded with? Uh, standard explosive uh. round. Grapnel grenades, normal grenades, anti. Normal grenade. Yeah, normal grenades. Well, I had to craft. Should... A, I think I just crafted some normal grenades last time. Yeah, they should. They should. I mean, you should. You should have it. Um... um... Eight. She should have but return it down. Um so normal grenades they have they have like bear. How big? If you shoot here, you will most definitely, um, because it's like um, three, five feet um, by three. So mm -hmm. basically, this if you if you fire the grenade here, if it explodes here, this is the this is the splash. Okay. Um, and but but wait a second. You're you're firing like small grenades, right? It's um, hamster size grenades because it's a small uh, weapon, right? Yeah. Your grenade thrower. So so then it's um, like the edges of of the square. Um, it should be. Is cross like uh, the cross of a controller just in front of Tuck? <laughs> yeah, freaking out. Yeah, they already got blown up with a grenade. Uh, I think Rover is going to be a little nice. Um, Rover got a EMP grenade. He has an EMP grenade on him. And drops that in front of the uh, 
the droid. Yeah. So, which will um, systems for? I'll, I'd like to wait for Royce and and uh, complete the description. Uh, but but what you can see is that this this robot is is uh, almost he is almost out of like crawled out of the door and two more are coming behind you these were the sounds that um, you heard earlier, like the metallic clanking that was actually one of them was like pumping into the door um, and the door couldn't close and he was like pumping into it was uh, it was in in a uh, loop mode all right guys sorry about that I was checking on the kiddos yeah it's 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 totally fine sorry. I hope they I they it. didn't uh, they, eat all of your food no they didn't eat all of the food but I Okay, I may have gotten sidetracked for a minute because they're playing Need for Speed, and um, they're, uh, okay, they're like, okay. like, like, I'm like, what are you guys doing? Did you upgrade the car yet? I, I'm, I'm gonna have to go teach the little scrubs how to play. <laughs> no, do not teaching. Leave them. Leave them. They, they leave must them. learn. Let them learn. They yeah. must learn. Yep. Yeah, you're yep. not. So, yeah, and that they're like, Dad, so. Dad, can we race you? I'm like, you'll lose. <laughs> so, so. I'm going to give you like the full description of these robots. It's like they they are uh, definitely they look like um, autonomous uh, robots, combat robots. Um, these are not widely used. You as as adventurers know that that. Um, uh, these things they they may have been used back in the day uh, but in in throwing them uh, on the battlefield is not a, a quite wise idea because they are vulnerable to to uh, different <laughs> oh, sorry to different um, specialized weapons and also their maintenance is not cheap uh you can program them to to maintain themselves each other but i mean they, they need parts so obviously here uh this being like some far away hidden base mirror base they didn't like they were losing the war uh they they obviously pulled these from some battlefield and just placed them here to guard the base they they what can i say even metal ages the system breakdown systems internal systems uh fail uh it's it's like this one has like lost half of his his left leg um and it's it's not quite it's like super mobile, uh, but he carries a pistol, and it's a Miran weapon. It is, it it vaguely reminds you of a laser weapon, and it's probably a laser weapon, maybe their version, like their ancient version of a weapon. Um, you see the one behind, the, like those behind you. Uh, this one is armed with a sword. He just holds it um, with one hand, and his like his other hand should have been like carrying a shield, uh, but he's he's missing a hand. And the the this this guy uh, he has like a short uh weapon which looks like a gyrojet weapon but it's not like a full rifle it's like a c compact gun 
Uh, it's it's super old. Like everything on them is is really old. Um, it's the, their hulls, like the the armor, the outer armor shell, has taken so much damage. Then then like you can see through through like there are holes big enough that you can see the mechanism inside them moving. There is something else though. These machines, they are not. Um, they, they do not look completely um, fully like like some regular old uh, combat robot. They have an eerie feel to them, and and like the more you you the longer you look at them. You notice that there is um there is a glow, there is a, a pinkish whitish glow that's emanating from inside of them, and uh, one of them who is like the most has the most damage chest. Uh, you can see that there is a, a sphere, like a, me a metallic sphere, almost almost looks it almost looks metallic, but you it's probably something that's that's part met metal and part stone that's some some weird blackish stone and that that um uneasy feeling that energy that that these machines emanate it comes from that stone that thing that sphere inside of them um which <clears throat> Let me see what kind of like what kind of a role you can you can um, do. Maybe would roll knowledge space knowledge children would not could help. Hmm. Knowledge vehicle actually would work here. Knowledge spaceships also would work. Knowledge vehicle or knowledge spaceships? All right. Uh... Uh, knowledge alien also would work, but like the different skills would give you different results. Well, that doesn't help. Like you, you vaguely remember reading something about uh, strange implants into fully automat uh, automatic ships which was like the hate of stupidity and that's why you, you remember it but you don't remember like additional details Well, that information kind of changes. How come? What What do you think they were working on? It's like <laughs> this is a this is a lab that that was doing like an an life infusion and shit and experiment. Right. They probably uh, did uh, something to to the self. to the robots. A gentleman, that weird that weird glow. Is that rem? Does that look like the wraith that we fought? Do we need to plasma rifle these guys? Particle beam specifically. Oh, well, particle beam. Yeah. We, I think we're going to have to. And then. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go. So, Roro's actually going to launch a grenade right here and try to do some damage to like the physical bodies and slow them down with these two coming at us. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, where do you want to throw the grenade here? Or, yeah. <clears throat> or here? I'll uh, kind of... Oh, shit. This thing... Do that real quick. Oh my gosh, Fuck. yeah, right here. Okay. Okay, throw, throw the grenade. Um, 
Attack with the grenade launcher. Okay. Alright. Can you not see it? Right here? Yeah, right here. It says AC8. Does it not show in the roll 20? Yeah, I see it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see it too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. so, so that would be a critical miss. Uh, roll another attack. I don't know if you, if, if the guys are um, getting you some more extra rolls. No, that's not a thing. We, I think the only people watching the stream right now are us. Yeah. So oh, there, were so there were a right bunch of people. It's all on us. Yeah, there were a bunch of people. I don't think I'm going to get were... another reroll. I think I just missed. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh? Damn it. How do you mess with these things? It doesn't blow up next time. Huh. Yeah, but you, you, you have to roll um, another attack with the same weapon to see that if it's a critical uh, miss. Oh, okay. It works. What the fuck? No, it's not. Okay, so you just fire like uh, fire the grenade, the grenade whizzes be in between them and detonates somewhere behind. And when it explodes, you actually see that like it hit it hit some some crates uh, behind. I'll just um, reveal the area. Oh. Uh, it hit those crates and just blew and blew them to pieces. And um, Tuck, it's your turn. Right. Got two robots here. Where did everyone Thanks. go? I mean, may so, have. Other things to do, but yeah. there were a lot of people in the beginning. They'll probably just listen later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they have legs, right? Um, Like those two behind you, they their legs are functional. Uh, this one has like one arm. This one? Uh, this one has a damaged leg. So it has impaired mobility. He's armed with a pistol. This, this, this one is armed with a pistol. This one is armed with a sword. And this one has like a short uh, gyrojet uh, gun. And what? Uh, which arm is holding the pistol? Uh, the left one. So cold shot, left arm. That. You say you're going to shoot the arm with the pistol? He's disarming it. I mean, that's what He's I was He's disarming gonna, it. Yeah, that's, that's, smart. That, that's what I was going to do, but I was going to do something totally different, so it changes my strategy a little bit. <laughs> uh, there are plenty of them. Blank. Don't worry. They're everywhere. Bonus. The base is infested with them. Three. Uh, it's an AC of 15. Okay. Um, that's with the minus. Yeah, okay. So, he, yeah, you hit, you hit his arm. Uh, what's the damage? A roll. I remove a shot out of there. No additional right, so damage bonus, so just three. Just Standard, the standard uh, when you you uh, use like the snap snap guns, it's like the standard firing mode is single attack, which is a short burst. Mm -hmm. And in this case, like when you when you uh, fire one charge from your power pack, it, it shoots like pew pew. So it hits the hits the hand uh, that holds like the the forearm of of the robot's hand. And disintegrates part of it, and it kind of like be because they are so so damaged, 
uh it it just like it's not enough for him to 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 continue holding his pistol and just like the the front uh end of his his robotic arm just just falls down it clanks uh in on the floor and uh he uh just like clenches his his right fist and uh, you see how this energy uh this unlife energy courses from inside of his chest uh, and then just shrouds his his fist so he's prepared to punch someone now being denied his his laser pistol so alter it's your turn all right let's see here uh would there be a penalty for me swapping my weapons over to the particle pistol um no all right i'm gonna go ahead and swap weapons and then fire off a shot uh probably near this guy okay uh this 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 guy is also the one who has like the most damaged chest plate and you can see the the sphere inside so you can Perfect. directly aim at the sphere uh, with a cold shot, cold shot. That's a um, torso uh, shot. Uh, would there be any change to my role for a calling that I'm gonna try and shoot him straight in the chest? Um, it's like there is a small penalty to hit. Um, so there is like um. Uh, the, the, there are the rules here in, in the, um, the rules for ranged combat and special ranged attacks. So uh, the head is the hardest to hit. Is like a minus four to attack. Um, the limbs have a minus three, and the torso has is probably the easiest. It's like minus two. So. Okay, so whatever my role is, minus two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you probably could have used like the Mauser uh, with the same same effect. It's just that. Um, right, this is understand. with the minus two. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You hit. You hit. You hit. Um, the like the particle beam hits straight at the sphere and the sphere basically disintegrates uh Ooh. yeah disintegrates yeah i i saw it i saw the damage so the the robot is just like all of this energy that like uh these these faint uh white pinkish flames that that emanated from it it's it's hull they vanish and it stops like it is just it's just a statue it just stands there. Mm. So yeah, that's um, uh, one less robot. I just say you might want to stand there, not move at all. <laughs> that's all I say. <laughs> oh boy! So um, the guy he has. So he doesn't have like a long, long. <laughs> he can't even reach Duck uh, with with like one leg. He he hops over here uh, My and hot. swipes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm about to get fucking <sighs> pwned by a hopping son of a bitch. Oh, well, yep. he has like one leg, so it 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 doesn't care. It's it's a robot. It it's it has programming. So it swipes at you, uh, Elgin. Um, see, that should be wipes at you. What's your AC? Uh, you should use one of the the blobs uh, oh, above shit. your head for for AC, and the other one for your current uh, ammo loaded in in the weapon, so you can keep. AC, my AC is 15. 
Okay, so he swipes at you and he barely hits you in, in like in the faceplate. He's aiming at your faceplate, straight at, at, at your face. But you, you oh, just like move away. Um, he fails to hit you. So another oh, robot there's, pops out. There's, there's only three legged rice and I don't need an extra one. You can stay the fuck back. Um, this one pops out is also armed as as this one uh, with a short uh, snub uh, gyrojet weapon uh, and the one with the sword is is like he moves over here clanking um, his feet are okay um, and he swipes with that short sword, um, which is, is still working. It's a Viper Blade. Swipes at Roro. Uh, and Roro, what's your AC? 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, swipes, but you handily dodge it. Uh, and he, he cleaves part of the wall. And you can see that the piece of... Um, uh, metal infused concrete it just like flies in the opposite direction and there is a puff of almost like mold uh sp sprouting in the air uh so elgin it's your turn mm. well my move you could easily yeah you could easily stab someone with like with pretty your, much so your with rifle my... Yeah, that was pretty much what I was going to do. So let's go over to weapons here. Let's uh, I'm going to stab. Uh, I'm going to stab this uh, this guy right here with uh, with the good old plasma uh, plasma dagger. It's on the end of my Yeah, you could you could you saw what happened. You just saw what happened when altered hit uh, his particle beam mm -hmm. uh, at the sphere. Uh, you could try the same. You could just try to stab with your uh, because your weapon is special your well yeah just... that's why i was gonna that's why i was gonna use the the, the plasma because i know mine has well the way yeah, it's uh, specific my i know my beam pistol's got some special properties <clears throat> but my plasma dagger yeah you could basically uh stab with with your dentary a blade you could stab the sphere and oh it that's would, right because it's will, a dentary it, blade that's yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. I forgot it. All right. Yeah. Or you uh, could. Well, that's what I was or do. if. But yeah. So my original if, goal. If you want to. Yeah. Decided to disarm this one dude. My original goal is I was going to run up and use my plasma blade to cut his pistol hand off. So. And then Tuck yeah. shot it. So I'm just going to stab this guy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stab this guy with my plasma you... dagger. My plasma yeah. dagger is active, right? Yeah. Okay. Are, are you going? Are you going for a cold, cold attack and aiming for the here? I'm gonna aim for this guy right He's, here. Uh, I'm or you're stab just him stabbing him right in the chest with the plasma dagger. Uh, okay, so the plasma yeah, dagger that would is be, on. It yeah. is dealing energy damage right now. Uh, yeah, you should you should have like the the specific type of attack uh, set with the bayonet. Oh, you click on the bayonet. Okay. Yep. Uh, AC of eighteen. Hit him with eighteen. No. So uh, let's see uh, that. That attack is set when you're just holding it in your hand. Uh, I set it up. Uh, I set it up specifically for you. Uh, mm -hmm. The second, the second weapon attack, which says bayonet. Oh. Yeah. So we'll we'll say that like you hit it, you hit it, you just roll the damage from the second attack where it says weapon two damage roll. Okay, because so you're, the you're holding. I'm sorry. Yeah. I should have clicked yeah. bayonet. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it, it roll the, the damage from the bayonet. One yeah, it's the yeah, same. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. I'll just roll. Because when you're holding the rifle with two yeah. hands, oh fuck, the me. damage is. Oh no. Yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, but it's still it's still 
enough and it's the, it's the right damage type and you hit it you if you have ju if you just attacked him just anywhere else uh this like this damage wouldn't be enough to 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 uh stop, uh, stop him but hitting exactly there uh you you feel something uh something dissipate something like vanish when you, you when you stab the spear um because their their place is identical in each of the robots um and and um it's almost like it's almost like um someone is Someone is screaming, but it's it's faint, and it's it's um, how should I describe the sound? It's almost like this is a, a delayed sound. It's 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 someone had screamed, and they 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 stop mid scream, Ugh. and when you when you stab the the sphere and you 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 destroy it. With, with with the zentery blade uh you you hear this this sudden scream which continues like from mid screaming it's not just just the beginning the, there is no beginning of the scream it's just the end of the scream that's yeah, why that's, that's what i was uh, yeah it's uh and and when you pull pull the blade it, this uh the robot is just like standing there um and uh, the energy, the unlife energy that had um, wrapped around his fist, it just vanishes. Oh boy! So Roro, uh, what you see behind you over here is that door opens, and um, a couple more robots pop up. Oh no! Oh yeah, no, shit! We've got more coming. Oh great. Um, is activating Robo Shield uh, a take up an action? No, it's um, like cool. last time. Last time, I think I I told you that. Um, Talking about last time, you know how many weeks ago that was. Yeah, now? I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why. That's why I'm I'm telling you again. <laughs> so yeah, which is uh, Shield, and is that? Um, robot within range to get damage from that shield, the unlife. Because don't they get? Uh, damage if 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 it hits you, it, uh, oh, he yeah, will. Okay. That's yeah. right. Um, so he activates the shield, and then Robo switches to the disruptor or the beam uh, particle pistol, and shoots at the one right in front of him. Okay, so when you when you switch the guns, uh, you provoke attack of opportunity. And this guy swipes at you with the sword. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, 23 hits you, I think. Yeah. So he hits you, he hits the shield, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and when he hits the shield, you can see that uh, the unlife energy that had like concentrated itself at the tip of his sword, it burns. And the sword snaps in two, uh, but your shield still, of course, the shield takes damage. Mm -hmm. uh, sh the shield takes um, ten points of damage, and this guy, like, uh, his his sword is gone, and his. Uh, he recoils back. By the way, he's over there. It doesn't it doesn't look good. He looks even even more damaged than before. Uh, and you now you can you can shoot. Yeah. Okay. That hits. That hits. Roll the damage. Yes. Are getting wrecked okay that's enough he he already took in a plenty of damage from the shield mm -hmm. uh and just he at this time like he uh he shakes uh, the robot shakes and he he part of him 
some something internal just sparks uh detonates some some internal component and he falls down um and you don't like abomination And you are close enough to hear that the same whisper that Elgin heard. Oh, it's creepy. Huh. Enough to turn, enough to send chills down one's spine. I first stand on it. Hmm. Uh, you're not, you're not quite there for me to force you to roll uh, fear saves, but because you're actually fucking them, you're, you're destroying them. Mm-hmm. So they're they're scary as fuck. They're creepy as fuck. But you're actually killing them. So that's like it. It wouldn't be fair for me to. On the other hand, if you if you had kept missing them, yeah. Well then then that would be <laughs> entirely another thing. Uh, okay, so Tuck, it's your turn. All right. Let's see here. The disruptor works perfectly well. Like you could probably do the same thing. Should should try and try and shoot the sphere in the chest. Um, does this one have its legs still working? Oh yeah, yeah. It's this this one is like legs and arms working, and he's also armed with that uh, snub um, jarjet uh, weapon. How far have you, you've limited their uh, damage? All right, that was that. That's smart use once, of assets. Once again, uh, the arm that's holding the gun. We'll make the modification. If you blank minus three. Uh, that hits a twelve AC. That's probably too low. No, no. Yeah, you miss it. Like you hit the door and you blow, like you disintegrate a small piece of the, the like of the metal door. Um, yep. So, authored. All right. All right. Um. Okay. I'm probably going to raise up my particle beam pistol and shoot this guy over here. Same thing. Shoot yep. him in the chest, or yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and shoot him in the chest. Do another called shot. Let's hope this works. Uh, well, ah, uh, you 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 added the minus two, right? Yeah, that was already with yeah, the minus uh, two. Okay, so you hit him. You hit him. Um, Perfect. Roll the roll the damage. Ooh, uh, not bad. Yeah, you you the, exactly the same thing uh, happened. Like you hit, you uh, you blow uh, a circular hole exactly where you you are one hundred percent sure now because you've already killed a couple of them the same in the same way, the same fashion. You hit the you hit the sphere with with the, that powerful particle beam, uh, and it it just it's. It's probably bearing the door, like blocking the door for the rest. So um, they'll have to remove him because he's just standing there. They'll have to remove him to to get out. You know, Roro, this sounds like, seems like the setup for a cutting plan. Got your grenades ready? You uh, set him up, I'll knock him down. Just... Lob them in there, they're already bottlenecking. Oh, nice. So, uh, this one... Uh, this one, this one, this one aims at Old Heart and uh, aims this, like, snub jar jet gun and fires. Uh, it's... Let me see how lucky you are, please. Would you like a roll... Uh, uh, you like to roll uh, 1d100? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, fun. Hmm? Yeah, it's... 77. It's, it's, ooh, 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 okay, 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 okay. 
Uh, this is this is so cool. This is so cool. Uh, so the 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 robot is like he had set the weapon, his weapon on on uh, automatic fire, and he he pulls the trigger. He aims it at you, pulls the trigger, and um, because the weapon is is so so old, and probably the ammunition are ancient. Uh, not probably they are fucking ancient. <laughs> it's like it fires. They 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 fly towards you, but uh, some of them like they they explode the second they uh, um, exit his uh, arrow because this this is a specific weapon like um, Elgin knows it's a gyrojet weapon. They they have they have an engine they have a, ro a rocket engine chemical rocket engine and they have to accelerate the second that they exit the the barrel um black knight you there I don't know what it's got really quiet uh -oh. oh no oh no oh no they've gone for the dm no they've gone for the dm oh no and we're like getting close to the end here too yeah that's oh, a horrible uh, spot it's that horrible is a time. bad spot it sounds like cliffhanger material if i've ever seen it i hate it probably is We uh, hopefully can come back pretty soon. Yes. We shall see. At the very least, shooting them in the chest seems to work. Seems to work pretty well. Right. I'm so glad I bought that shield for Roro. I think it would come in handy. Duh. I'm really gonna have to stock up on more ammo for this particle beam pistol. It's just that good. Well, yeah, especially when we're going up against what we're going up against. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't like that song at all. Good Lord. Lord. Got some, uh, good music for his uh, Dark Augment campaign. Like, uh, he started playing it uh, on Sunday and it had like a siren type mm -hmm. sound in, in the background. I had to take my uh, headphones off and listen to like, make sure it wasn't a siren in like my neighborhood. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I need to get I need to get more backing music and, and sound effects, which I, I just I've got to yeah, find it, it's all free music. I, I can point it I can point well, you all to it. It's, it's pretty not easy. Just finding music. It's finding the ones that fit the tone well enough for us to play and make sure that we're good to rock and roll. So I will say this though, we are reaching the two hour mark, and I, I sadly I think Black Knight's internet may have cut out on him. So Sable Good sir. Yep. What uh what was your favorite part of the night? <laughs> it's gonna be stupid, but I think it's because I, I got my finger stuck in the <laughs> <laughs> fingers stuck in the keyboard. Wow. Mm -hmm. Getting stuck. Wow. Still got that oil on hand. Go. Hey there, Black. Oh Davis. come on! Gilded, Gilded automatically disconnected me. I've had that happen a couple of times before. And it says, right. ooh, so something went wrong. Uh, we're sorry. Uh, come on. This is gay. <laughs> so what what uh, what actually happened it happened is that this, uh, the last one, the last robot actually managed to, to uh, um, do uh full auto and spray um oh, fuck. so so you will you will um during a strafe you know that you have uh, you can you can roll uh, um 
those those of you who have evasion they can roll a reflex save and um you uh can also roll a reflex save to see if if you can hit you can beat his reaction so i would ask you to roll a reflex oh shit. yep sable do you oh that's an area sable do you have yeah time just for that? just roll that yeah just roll that and we can we can wrap up uh reflex. So sable can, i have reflex but i don't know if i have evasion uh, no you don't have evasion yeah. So I cannot yeah. roll. Yeah. Or, uh, no, no, you can. You can. Oh, I can. Okay. All right. All right. Oh I yeah, I, I totally get hit. He, yeah, absolutely. He does the spray and pray, and I just die. <laughs> no, that's not. No. Uh, oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Well, you're that really big, no! so you move. I am a big target. I am very yeah, you kind of. You try to roll and you bump into the the wall. Uh, Tuck is unaffected, by the way. Tuck, it, it's you, you're yeah, you're no, it's tuck, you're behind. Tuck and row. Yeah. I feel like there's tall people uh -oh. like racism yeah. here or something like that. Like it just yeah, uh, large for people. Some reason, large. For some reason, uh, gentry uh ships really don't like as guardians they keep slamming doors in their faces <laughs> this isn't dysentery this is mirin you no that's mirin mirin bullshit yeah that's yeah, mirin season mirin season problems <laughs> uh, all right oh god okay. oh is that the cliffhanger of all cliffhangers yeah is that that's the cliffhanger yeah that's the cliffhanger great so yeah. the spray and pray and then we have to find out who gets hit next time i mean i no i i i will i will keep it um obviously author gets hit <laughs> <laughs> i would uh, be surprised if he didn't yeah yeah well i've i've had a couple of players play uh asgardian uh, scouts so that's that that does not <laughs> well that that that's a, that sounds like an oxymoron Oh, that's, that's a big that's, target, yeah. and he's not very dexterous. Yeah, he doesn't like to to hide. Oh. All right, well, so uh, Tuck, I don't know if you were here for this Black Knight, but Tuck was, he said his favorite moment of the night was uh, when he got his fingers stuck in the mechanical keyboard. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, yes. And oh, Tuck, yes. if you've got to get going, I don't know if you do, but if you got to get going, you can pass it off to someone else, or you can uh, uh, keep talking about uh, the gameplay tonight. I'll pass it off to Turpy Soul so I can get ready for work. Trippy Have a good night, everyone. Soul. Oh, yeah. Have yeah, you night, too. Man. Have a you good too. night. Have yeah, fun. Uh, that, that. Favorite part is Gene falling out of his face just jumping out and just getting caught oh, yeah, and I forgot completely that, that was a really good moment <laughs> on that like, did you roll a one on the jump what was that no, yeah no, something it like that low. it was it, it was, was like really a, low yeah it was like a three yeah. or a four or something yeah. like that it was really i was Flat. like wow <laughs> like yeah it was it was it's terrible actually i bet i can scroll and find it it's yeah you can you can you can scroll up and uh, uh it will show you oh the damage the damage le démarche Let's see. Ooh, it's a respectable loot damage. So this, these guys, like um, the Mirans. Um, let's see. Oh, jump check right there, yellow gene one. It was a one. <laughs> oh, was yeah, it, it was. Jeez. It was super low. Yeah, yeah, it was Jeez. super low. Thanks, I found. Yeah, I just found. It. Yeah, that's ridiculous. As, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, Otter, I'll pass it out to you. Oh. Let's see. My my favorite moment was oh, it was a mix of moments. Uh, offering to help pry out Tuck once again was pretty entertaining. I'm not gonna lie. No, that was but, not. That was the, that was not. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, mm. My my favorite moment was probably us actually going into the bunker, and you can tell we're getting a bit more into. A bit more horror and mystery behind the Mirans, especially. And oh, yes. I don't know. For me, that's that's just really fun. It always is. 
you know, it's it's um, it's a mix, especially with the mirrors because they. I no no I almost I almost spoiled it. Yep. Ooh. You almost spoiled the death trap. No, 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 no. I'm not spoiling the death traps. I almost um, dropped some some of the information. So. Uh oh. So so yeah, it's um. Who's next? Um. I I guess it's uh Royce. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can always pick Black Knight. I can. He can. I mean, now that you Knight. mention it, Black Knight. What was your favorite <laughs> part of this game? Uh well a couple um one was the fact that a role that you never saw um and that specific uh gun runner biker um who i i expected somebody else almost expected to roll a one on that that role but i rolled a three uh and and it was that person I can't, I can't fucking wait. I can't, I can't wait for um, him to arrive. Glass. Glass is, oh boy. You'll see. It's, <laughs> it's, it's probably one of my favorite NPCs. And uh, in all the times that I, I rolled this, like, um, this campaign, Glass has never fired the shot. Never, mm. never, ever, ever fire the shot. Never. He was just, I mean, well, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to tell you about this, this, this cool stuff. Um, and you, you go shoot stuff. I'm, I'm not, I'm not shooting. And um, of course, um, your interaction with, with the environment here. And the way you used your uh, your tactics without rolling for ta a tactics check, which uh, sometimes the players forget that they even even though especially in here in Star Shatter you can roll you have the tactics skill uh, and you can roll for a bonus uh, during combat. Even if you decide not to do that, you could still debilit like cause debilitating damage to your opponents and, and negate their their uh, capability to to deal damage to you. Hmm. That was that was really nice. How you disarmed uh, these like the first uh, robots, so they wouldn't be able to to uh, shoot you. And um, also the fact that uh, authored risked to to see what would happen if if he did a less accurate shot, but aimed at the specific detail that you have noticed. So. You'll be surprised how many players are just like Nah, this this detail that I earned through my to my successful checks, this clue. No, I'm not going to use it. Like, why why would I use it? And then and then something terrible happens. Hmm. And also, uh, the last thing was that Roro is is quite adeptly, I might say, is using his shield. He knows, he knows how it works and and why it works and what are the best uses of the shield and he is using it properly. This is how you use the shield. Shield is not like the energy shield is not just something to protect you from damage. It's also to deal damage. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like the shield. Hmm. A lot of money. Yep. Best defense is a good offense. There well, go. that's that's like in the books, um, gentlemen. There, there are a couple of I I have got to get going. 
Okay. Because I got to go spend some time with the wife, so I am going to have to cut this conversation short. I do apologize. Making excuses. Uh, you just want to go play more Need for Speed on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Um, no. My my <laughs> wife's been gone for you know a day and a half, so I was going to go spend time with her. Uh, nice. Uh, and I. I'll, I'll I'll beat the children on Need for Speed Underground tomorrow morning before Sunday comes. <laughs> they can't they can't escape. They can't There's escape. There's always from time me. to get good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I, I, you know. I'll, I'll teach the children how to get good. I will. I I beat that game many times. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out Star Shatter, and uh, we will see you next time how we are able to uh, to defeat this bunker. It's going to be good stuff. Yeah, I hope you're doing all right. All right. We're doing fantastic. Just all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, good luck. Hey, and if you guys are interested, check us out tomorrow. Well, check me out tomorrow. 11 a.m. Central on Sunday Coffee. I still have to get that whole stream set up. And the thumbnail. It's all. Right. It's going to be awesome, guys. See you then. <laughs>